Alright. Mic test, mic test. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Feels. The Feels, and this is my reactionary series, and today we're going to be taking a look at something very special. This is a trailer for a game which series I've played when I was little. You know, Sega Genesis, you know, 1, 2, and I ended up playing 3 through an emulator because I didn't know that 3 was, um was even around i found out that it was just like a european release I found out later on down the line that it was a uh, something that um was only released in europe but this is streets of rage 4 you know if you guys understood how important how epic this game is like when it comes to side scrolling beat em ups this is one of the games that comes into the conversation very often um as one of those classic games that uh you can't just get enough of so without further ado man let's um you know, because they did Mugen characters for them. People that went back and recreated the game. They made remakes of this game. And uh, I'm wondering, and I heard the remake actually got taken down. Um, there was like a cease and desist, and they took it down. And um, I wonder if they took what they did with the remake, and they made Streets of Rage 4 based around that. Because, you know, they kind of did that with, like, you know what I'm saying, uh... Pokemon radiators or it was like some Pokemon fan made game that was so good that Nintendo sent like a cease and desist and I wonder if they did the same thing with this you know what I mean so uh, I wonder if Sega did the same thing with that with that remake and then they came out with this so I don't know when the, so I don't know let's just see what they did hopefully they actually got some interesting You know, it was released by IGN, so it was made by Lizard Cube. That must be Axel, I remember the shoes. Definitely Axel, Axel got a beard, so they're showing some type, some signs of uh, time has passed. Oh, look, it's the Fat Mario dude. <laughs> it's the Fat Mario dude. It's the Fat Mario dude, man. Blaze, of course. Y'all know this is kind of weird. I wonder if they still gonna show, oh, wait a minute, oh, hold on. So... Clearly somebody new. Oh, never mind. It's not nobody new. That's a... Wait. So... There... I'm, I'm hoping that that's not the only two characters that they're putting in there. Because Streets of Rage, got they got Skate. They got Axel. I mean, they got Axel, Skate. Um, that big muscular dude that was in uh, 2. Um... I can't remember the name of the black dude in a yellow shirt uh who, who was like skate's older brother um that they was actually going to rescue in streets of rage 2 like i can't remember he was in streets of rage 1 but he had on like leather pants and like a yellow like a goldish yellow tank top can't remember his name i think it was adam or i think it was adam uh but yeah like they missing some people like I know, like like I know they're not gonna make a part four, and these are the only two characters that they have in there. I'm hoping that's not the case. Like they don't even have like a a release date for it yet. So I'm I'm pretty sure this is just like you know early stages, you know just to show that something's being done. So, I mean I'm interested in it, but I'm looking forward to seeing what else they do what else they do with it because I'm really hoping those aren't the only two characters in the game. Uh, or even worse, I hope they don't do some BS where they try to like charge you for the extra characters. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then they had the old robot man from uh, three. If, if I'm not mistaken, they had like a code to where you can get like that ninja who was like the mini boss that you face like before you went up against Mr. Biggs and I think Streets of Rage what one. Um. Yeah, like they uh had them unlockable in three but i think it was like a certain way you had to do it. like you had to die on like a certain stage and then you had to pick them um but yeah like i hope they don't try to charge for the other characters that's gonna be so stupid uh but, but again it, it's early um but hopefully they do the right things with this game because this is a this is a franchise that people grew up on now and you don't want to mess this up so so, yeah, like don't mess up the franchise by making a stupid game that's supposed to be a follow up to three. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, so far, just looking at what they have, 
nothing crazy. But, uh, you know, it's interesting enough to where I see it's something to put a smile on my face to know that they're making a part four. And I'll just take that for what it is and we're going to see uh, and we're going to see what happens next. So whatever they follow up with it, um, as far as adding, you know, any, anything else that they're adding on to the game, you know, I look forward to seeing the development of it. And uh, yeah, man, Street to Rage 4. Peace. Don't mess this up.